Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. Anabunaka, Fiji, in this bulletin, man charged with 25 counts of sexual assault. Necessary assessment and checks completed in Kandavu. And consumers urged to consider environmentally friendly items. From the studios of FBC Suba, Edwin Nan. Assessments, excuse me, leading our bulletin this morning. In what is believed to be one of the biggest alleged sexual assault cases in recent times, a 45-year-old man has been charged. He's facing 25 counts of alleged sexual assault-related charges and will appear in the Nandi Magistrates Court today. The accused is alleged to have committed the offence between April and December last year. It's alleged he sexually assaulted a 16-year-old boy in Votwa Levu in Nandi. The matter was reported to police last month and he was charged following an investigation. Assessments on the island of Kandavu following tropical cyclone Sarai have been completed and necessary actions were taken to help the islanders. A 30-member Fiji emergency medical assistance team returned yesterday after finishing the damage assessment. Health officials who were part of the team did, uh, did checkups on 152 patients and performed surgeries on eight. Health Minister Dr. Ifiremi Wangai Nambete says seven people have been brought to the mainland on board the vessel MV Vevueti for further treatment. They've done a lot of hard work over a short period of time. So we are very keen to uh, to be able to show that, uh, that as a government we've responded uh, appropriately after the tropical cyclone Sarai and uh, you know uh, uh, that uh, the lives of all Fijians are very important to us. Uh, as we speak, the uh, teams uh, from government are getting ready to go to uh, head off to Fire extinguishers are not the only threat to taxi drivers, says Land Transport Authority Chief Executive Samuel Simpson. Responding to the Fiji Taxi Association's concerns that fire extinguishers can be used as weapons against taxi drivers, Simpson says there are other items an attacker could also use. He says passengers can use personal effects such as umbrellas, hot coffee cups and water bottles. According to the CEO, the requirement for public service vehicles to have fire extinguishers is borne out of the risk to the public and drivers. There are mixed reactions from parents preparing to send their children back to school. While many parents bought their items last month, there are many still doing last-minute shopping. Anna Rambuku from Tailevu says shopping for her three girls has not been easy as the prices of exercise books were high. Rambuku adds she is happy that the government provided textbooks for free. The 2020 academic year starts Monday. My, one of my son and other, my eldest daughter, when they were schooling, I used to buy I mean, extra money for their textbook. But this one, I'm very lucky that I'm just buying exercise book for them this year. So I'm very thankful for this government for providing free textbook. Uh, but still, the exercise book is still uh, expensive at the moment. With a ban on single-use plastic bags, the Consumer Council of Fiji is urging Fijians to consider other environmentally friendly items whenever they go shopping. The council says it's important to include consumers in all issues of sustainability in order to change behavior. Chief Executive Seema Ashandil says shoppers need to understand their consumption habits can reduce negative impacts on the environment and contribute to sustainability. The council is promoting green and sustainable consumerism to show people the harmful effects of their choices. After they need to understand, you know, whatever the household, the, the total impact of the household uh, consumption is an important contributor to the environmental pollution, which namely, you know, the air, water pollution, plastic pollution and climate change. 
76-year-old Pon Sami of Nanuku Settlement in Vatwanga Suva yesterday received the keys to his new home. Non-government organization Being Helping Hands Fiji made Sami's dream a reality after seeing the appalling conditions that he was living in after his wife's passing in 2015. His struggle was brought to light during Diwali last year and the NGO responded immediately by supplying groceries and now building him a proper home. Founder Razia Muhammad says now they can sleep peacefully knowing that Sami is safe in his own house. The best part is that, uh, that happiness on Nana's face after seeing the house. I hope we are going to inspire more people to come out of their comfort zone and um, see someone who is suffering in silence and be their voice and try to help them out. Overseas now, Australians are preparing for more soaring temperatures and high fire danger, with people being told to get out before it's too late. The financial toll of the disaster is growing too, with livelihoods increasingly at risk. Coming up, injury concerns for Fiji Sevens. And local players have great opportunities. Welcome back. There are two injury concerns in the Fiji 7 squad. Isoa Tambu had light training yesterday at the Uprising Sports Center in Pacific Harbor. Jerry Tuwai missed yesterday's session because of an ankle injury. Head coach Gareth Baber says there's nothing to worry about uh, 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 with regards to their injuries. However, Baber is impressed with under-20 halfback Kamenieli Rasaku. He's a young man who's played for the 20s this year. Um, he, he, he came in off the back of that in his performances of the 20s. He's energetic, he's physical, he's got a lovely step on him, he's learning the game. Um, he's done some great work whilst we've been overseas and come back. He played in, uh, in Germany in Oktoberfest as well, so he's had a little bit of, of uh, experience in terms of international competition. Fiji Mbati coach Brandon Costin is excited about the opportunity local players will now have in securing overseas contracts. Three Fiji Mbati players recently bagged contracts with clubs in Australia. Costin says with the Kaiviti Silk Tales playing in the Ron Macy Cup this year, chances of local players getting professional contracts overseas will be even higher. Now we're guiding our players into professional rugby league. Uh, you can look at a success story like Mike Sivo who made his NRL debut at 25. You know, it, it's not too late for any of those players out there that are really looking to change their life and the life of their community and their family by obtaining a professional contract. Team Fiji Chef de Mission Patrick Bauer says they are expecting to take a 56-member delegation to the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. He says this will consist of athletes, doctors, physiotherapists and officials. Bauer says a number of sports are, likely, are still up for grabs, adding that swimming and athletics have two and one university places respectively. He says there is still stiff competition among swimmers to get that final spot. They haven't as yet finalised the team. But all are performing extremely well and it shows the level of planning and hard work that has been put in by the national swimming uh, to raise the standard of these number of, this number of swimmers and to keep them at that level, um, keep the interest there uh, and they're still sorting it out and fighting to see who's going to cross the line. Overseas tennis star Serena Williams showed impressive resolve to advance into the ASP Classic quarterfinals, bouncing from a set down to defeat Christina McHale in three sets. McHale quickly took a 4-1 lead in the first set before Williams hit back with a breaking serve to score 4-3. Expect cloudy conditions and possible afternoon showers over the Fiji group today. 
And that's your FPC Morning News. Remember to join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. That's it from me for now. Have a good morning. हमारे खूबसूरत देश बीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव आई तक रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप